Rally France was one of the founding events of the World Rally Championship, running since the birth of the series in 1973 through the roads of Corsica, known then as the Tour de Corse. For more than three decades, rally cars blasted around the island until 2008, when it was no longer a candidate on the WRC calendar. However, in 2010, the French Federation chose to move the rally to the mainland and run an event through the stunning surroundings of the Alsace. The rally was an instant success and remains a firm favourite on the calendar. The roads bear a significant resemblance to Germany with many surface changes, stages through vineyards and of course the ever-changing weather conditions. It all adds up to create one of the toughest tarmac tests. The weather is, uh, has been difficult uh, for the last years and I think again just with the time over the year we are doing it, it's, uh, the risk of rain is very big and that turns it into a proper mud hole. You have uh, every kind of stage, uh, you have uh, wide ones, uh, really big uh, roads uh, where you must run like on circuit, a good racing line and then you have the narrow part so with a lot of loose gravel with many uh, places where you use the black tarmac when it's getting wet it's very very slippery. The tricky part in France is that there's, uh, you can cut a lot and you are pulling a lot of gravel to the stages, a bit like in Germany, but the nature of the stages are, are more normal country roads. Tarmac itself is quite abrasive, it has good grip. But the difficulties over there is that some places you have a blacktop, really, really a lo lot of blacktop on the, on the top of the surface, and when it rains for that, it's extremely like an ice. The man grabbing all the headlines is Sebastian Loeb. Can he bring the curtain down on his WRC career with one final win at home? You'd be a fool to bet against him, but Sebastian Auger is out to spoil Loeb's fun. I think for everyone, it's always nice to, to race your home event. I expect a lot of, of support and great atmosphere again. Yeah, I'm looking forward for this event and also uh, we prove in Germany that we have this good speed on the surface as well and the car and the team was performance. So now uh, I need also yeah, to do a good job on myself. Don't discount Danny Sordo. After taking his first ever victory in the WRC on the asphalt of Germany, he returns to his Citroen seats brimming with confidence on the black stuff.